Unreal Engine 5.1 is out now, offering Nanite and Lumen improvements and big performance boost on next generation consoles. Let's look into this. The tech that will power a large portion of next generation games has received a substantial update, as Epic has just rolled out Unreal Engine 5.1. This update includes a lot of handy tools for developers, including improvements to Nanite, the micropolygon geometry system. For those unfamiliar, Nanite essentially allows developers to import film quality assets into games in real time, but until now, it could only really be used for static objects, so basically things that don't move. Now, it can be used for more dynamic things like trees that will sway and move in the wind. Epic is also promising support for 60 frames per second games with Nanite and their lighting system Lumen on next generation consoles. Other additions include improvements to the world partition system, which allow for even larger seamless worlds. So here's more details on Unreal Engine 5.1 Lumen, Nanite and Virtual Shadow Maps. Epic has laid the groundwork for the Lumen Dynamic Global Illumination and Reflections System, the Nanite Virtualized Micropolygon Geometry System and Virtual Shadow Maps to support games and experiences running at 60 frames per second on next-generation consoles and capable PCs, enabling fast-paced competitive games and detailed simulations to run without latency. Nanite has also been updated with programmable rasterizer to allow for material-driven animations and deformations via word position offset, as well as opacity masks. This exciting development paves the way for artists to use Nanite to program specific objects' behavior, for example Nanite-based foliage with leaves blowing in the wind. Unreal Engine 5.1 update also brings enhanced world-building tools. For example, World Partition now supports large world coordinates, enabling developers to create massive open worlds without loss of precision. Devs can also enjoy accelerated source control workflows with World Partition, thanks to an improved user experience around managing, filtering, searching and viewing files and change lists. Epic has also made it easier to find content in the world from within devs' change lists, and vice versa. In addition, new HLOD support for water rendering and streaming means that developers can create large water bodies with better performance and smaller memory footprint. I also wanted to mention temporal super resolution improvements made to Unreal Engine 5, which I feel are very important especially for next generation consoles, as this technology will allow these next gen consoles to deliver 60 frames per second games. So here's some more details. Temporal super resolution is now improved in this release in multiple areas. It offers better support for anti-aliasing of animated materials, improved quality and reduced ghosting on translucent geometry or geometry with incorrect motion vectors, better detection of pixel flickering and moir with improved anti-aliasing quality and less ghosting, and of course, performance optimizations for 60 frames per second targets, which sure will come in handy on these next generation consoles. So these are some of the most important improvements to Unreal Engine 5 with that 5.1 update. Of course there's even more updates and more improvements to the engine, like some cool machine learning improvements to the engine, but I will cover that in the separate video because it's a huge topic and there is actually quite a lot of to cover. And in this video I really wanted to focus on the most important features of this game engine like Nanite, Lumen, Super Resolution and of course all kinds of optimizations that will allow games running on this engine to run at 60 frames per second on next generation consoles. So guys, that's the video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, don't forget to share this video with others on social media and I will see you all in the next one. Take care!